using scale factors with area and volume. So what is a scale factor? A scale factor multiplies each of the lengths of a shape or image. So for example, here we have a rectangle of three centimeters by five centimeters. If we enlarge this by a scale factor of two, that means we times each of those side lengths by two. So three times two is six centimeters, five times two is 10 centimeters. We have an enlarged rectangle. It's been enlarged by a scale factor of two. It will also work for other shapes. So for example, here's a triangle with sides of three, four, and five. We're gonna enlarge this by a scale factor of five. So each of the sides is multiplied by five. Three times five is 15, four times five is 20, five times five is 25. We've got a new enlarged triangle. It's five times bigger in every direction. But what about if we do use a scale factor for enlargement of an area? So here's our rectangles from before. We've got our three by five rectangle. It's been enlarged by a scale factor of two, and we've now got a six by 10 rectangle. Well, let's work out the areas. So the area of the small rectangle, three times five, 15 square centimeters. The area of the large rectangle, six times 10, that gives us an area of 60 square centimeters. So it's not twice as big, it's actually four times as big. But why? So whenever we work out the area of a 2D shape, we're actually we're doing height times width. There are two dimensions to it. So after an enlargement of scale factor n, we would get and the new area of our larger shape would be n times the original height times by n times by the original width because remember, each of our lengths is being multiplied by n. Now rearranging this, we can put it in this order, n times n times height times width. Well, n times n is n squared, height times width is the original area, so the new area is n squared times the original area. So when we're enlarging an area, we're using a scale factor of n squared. Let's try this out in an example. So if you have a hexagon of area eight square centimeters and you enlarge it by a scale factor of three, what is the new area? So scale factor of three, each of the sides would be getting three times bigger, but we know from before that the new area, to find that we need to square the scale factor. So our scale factor is three, our original area is eight, three squared times eight gives us a new area of 72 square centimeters. What about enlarging volumes? So here we have a cuboid, three centimeters by six centimeters by two centimeters. It's been enlarged by a scale factor of three. So every one of those sides has been multiplied by three to give us the cuboid on the right. Now let's work out the volumes. Volume of a cuboid is height times width times length. So the volume of the small cuboid is three times two times six, giving us a volume of 36 cubic centimeters. And the large cuboid has a volume of nine times six times 18, giving us a volume of 972 cubic centimeters. Now doing a quick bit of division would show us that this new volume is 27 times the original volume. So it's not times by the scale factor, it's not times by the scale factor squared, what's happened? So volume has three dimensions. It has height, it has width, and it has length. So similarly to what we did for the scale factor on an area, let's look at what happens if we use a scale factor of n. So our new volume would be n times the original height, times by n times the original width, times by n times the original length. Rearranging gives us n times n times n, times height times width times length. But this can be simplified down to n cubed times by the original volume. So if you're enlarging by a scale factor of n, the volume gets bigger by a scale factor of n cubed. So using that, if we've got a box of volume 1.5 cubic meters, 
that's enlarged by a scale factor of four, so all of the sides become four times longer, what is the new volume? So the new volume is the cube of the scale factor times by the original volume. So that's four cubed times by 1.5, giving us a new volume of 96 cubic meters. So remember, if the scale factor is n, to find the new lengths you multiply by n, to find the area you multiply it by n squared, and to find the new volume you multiply it by n cubed.